Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to create a bear and glitch cannon. So, it's an old fashioned type of cannon, the newer ones tend to use spud guns, but I'll be showing you this one because, um, in case any of you want to try it. So, here's the bear and glitch cannon. Uh, as you can see, it fires, it shoots. Uh, so, basically what this is, is it uses these two controller, this um, controller hooked up to these two bearings to um, push these two arms into um, whatever we're firing. Like, let's say we have an explosive here. Uh, it pushes them into this piece of cardboard. And then after that, after a certain delay, 500 milliseconds, um, this is an automatic version, so it does all of it with one button. Um, it shoots this cardboard off, which... Um, because of all the stored energy in these two arms, it flings it forward. So, um, uh, this, um, is the automatic version, as I said. Um, it doesn't, it, it, um, does the release after a certain delay. Um, there is a manual version, though, which, um, you arm the gun by, um, turning on this controller and there's two but then there's three buttons and um then there's another button for firing and uh this button which is on both versions uh just resets it in case it glitches out and anything happens uh so basically uh this is a memory bit and when you hit this button it um triggers this memory bit and what this does is it turns on this, um, the controllers, and then after that, it also turns on this timer, and once this timer goes off, um, 500 milliseconds, it resets the memory, memory bit, and also it fires the spike guns at the same time to release all the energy. So, uh, yeah, it fires. So, to build this cannon, what you need is lift of course do this your spot guns so what you do is you place your spud guns inwards like this, so there's one block in the middle. Uh, then you place your bearings out here. Uh, you place your pipes. Um, one block, one pipe on this end, two pipes on this end. Then you place your ankle pipes, your suspension. Then, um, two pipes this way, two pipes this way, and your angle pipes outwards. Like this. Then, you need your, uh, you need your, uh, buttons. Oh yeah, and don't forget to set these to max. So you need your buttons, your timer, your your controller, and your logic gates for the memory bit. So to build the memory bit, you need an or, nor, or. Connect the nor into the or, the or into the nor, and the nor into the nor. And then you, so this button you can just connect to the off nor gate, off nor gate. This button you connect to this gate, the on nor gate, and you connect the or gate to the controller. You connect the controller to the two bearings. Make sure they're both pointing outwards. Then you do 360 and you loop it. Then, uh, 
this button, you also connect to this timer. You set this timer to 500 milliseconds. Then you connect this timer to the off NOR gate and to the control and to the um, spy guns, I mean. So now if we uh, get our cardboard and our explosives, as you can see here, and just quickly uh, weld this onto the ground. Now, um, when you're an object, like not welded to the ground, I mean, uh, you usually want to put it on suspension because uh, this has huge recoil. And also, um, you probably want to put these walls when you're in a tank or something like that because uh, what usually when the arms um, fire, they swing all the way around, which means you have to make extra space for them. But with these walls, it bounces off these walls and back here. So it decreases the amount of space you need. So uh, if we do this, put our thing right there. As you can see, it fires. Now you can adjust the delay. I wouldn't recommend putting it um, below 500 milliseconds because see, um, it's a charge up time kind of thing, kind of gun. So it changes your um, force if you change this. So let's say if we put it to 250 milliseconds, uh, as you can see, it's more of a, like a grenade launch. Now, if we put it to like, Five seconds, for example. It's like a sniper shot. It's extremely, extremely powerful. Now, the thing is, uh, when you use this gun, uh, it has a lot of recoil, as I said. Um, so, usually, you do also don't want to put it like so high because uh, it'll send your tank flying and also you probably want these um, suspension braces because uh, the recoil to dampen it um, so probably like a uh, reasonable one would be like uh, a bit more than 500 probably uh, yeah and this is one of the times it glitches you just press that button it fixes it so, uh, 500 is, uh, it's, hmm, 500, um, it's, it's not exactly powerful, but it's kind of fine. 750 would also, would be a good balance if you want, like, a straight shot, but without too much recoil, like that. Now we can always go and put it like that, and that will give way too much force, but so it's looping, so the controller keeps putting more and more force on it, um, timer's about to go off, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and hope you have fun with scan design. See you next time. Uh, bye. Oh yeah, and also please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. Uh, see ya.